Khan, these are the turbines you're looking for. <laughs> this is just an optical effect that, that, that there's, we know there's no earth curve, we know there's no globe. But it's just arrogance of Wally and his indoctrination and, you know, so up his self, you know. So I thought I'd um, cover this. I've got my own observation from a wind farm in Skegness on the East Coast. Similar effect. Look like they're hidden. Oh, very good, Khan. So nice of you to invite me to peer review observations and analysis. And yes, I bet we find out that they are indeed hidden by a physical curve. And that is just what we see optically when we look at it. <laughs> so let's have a look at my own footage and we'll go from there. Great. Hope you have a nice large focal length zoom on a tripod and provide some nice, clear, not at all grainy images for us to really get into. This is footage from Skegness Beach looking at uh, Lane and in a dowsing wind farm. Yep, just another great video to analyse. Good on you, Khan. And then behind that, there's Lincolnshire Wind Farm. Um, I'll just play it to a decent spot um, where I can take a screenshot so you can see the supposed hidden turbine. Supposed? Oh, I bet we find it's actually hidden. <laughs> But into it, Khan. And also pay attention to where um, rig is because that'll give some idea of direction. Oh, great. From those six turbines and the substation, we can work out exactly where you were on the beach and the angle at which you were observing from. Yes, that's correct. Great! That's Okay, let's stop this here. Let me go and uh, show you, Wally, why you are a total clown who just makes idiotic assumptions and creates maths to suit his idiotic assumptions. While, like I said before, I don't even need to even say anything other than play a video that debunks you. But just because you've been begging me for the last uh, week and a half, here you go, where's Wally? your destruction. Uh, I hope you're going to concede your fault and well apologize to Khan and myself for your total disregard of reality. We'll first start off with this, the substation, Wally. This is the reference to know where you are and what wind farms you are looking exactly about. Let's see if you can pay attention, Wally, what is going on here. So, we start off with uh, Wally. You are here. Do you see those words written in white with this big red screeching out block? You are here. Um, as far as I know, if a person is taking a photo and um, it says you are here, that means you are here. So, obviously, he knows where he was and where he took the photos. Now, in relation to what I was just talking about, the substation, look where the substation is, Wally. There's only one substation for the whole of Lynx Wind Farm. Oh boy, not a good start for you, is it? Let's pause it there for a minute, shall we, Wally? What do you see? Would that be the substation we just spoke about and then you see wind turbines let's see if you can count how many wind turbines there are uh. <laughs> Don't you just love how the boat is traveling across a horizontal horizon and not a curved physical horizon as you put it, Wally? Also note that uh, the turbines in the background are succumbing to what we call perspective. Okay, let's stop it right there. What do you see here, Wally? 
Do you see these three wind turbines in the front there? Do you see they conform to perspective as they are converging to the convergence zone? So they appear to be going downwards to the horizon as the horizon is rising relative to the vanishing point. Note all the back turbines are past the limiting angle so therefore you cannot see the bottoms of them as they are too far away but that's not what I'm trying to show you here what I'm going to show you here is a quick demonstration on why we see the turbines the way we do on a flat surface not over a curve see now Wally I have here seven sticks which I just painted with the red orange and blue just to give reference do you see how parallax causes them to look like they're going down as they go higher the back ones seem to be higher as they get level they sit the same level but what happens when I go a bit lower that when we are observing them or further away you see because of the parallax they appear to drop they're not physically dropping it's all just optical all optical and that's why we see what we do with the wind turbines Wally not because of earth curve simply because it's parallax for shortening mate let's go back to this quickly I don't know if you noticed this where's Wally did you see that uh, circular thing with uh, the stake in it? Hmm. Let me tell you why this is important. You see, this stake here tells us where he is. And the substation's angle tells us where he is as well. In relation to it, it tells us he's right next to the pier. Uh-oh. So, this is his observation point, you see, right next to the pier. Now, let's use those references. That would be right next to the pier, and it goes all the way to Link's t farm. It is 7.38 miles. Ooh, the distance isn't looking too good for you right now, is it, Wally? No, but just in case you don't believe me, you see this little line here. That is that reference we just showed. So you can see it's in his line of sight towards Link's farm. So you are totally wrong. Right, so I'll take a screenshot there. Yeah. Right, so as you can see, um, I've I've had to just adjust exposure and brightness a bit so you can see it a bit more clear clearly because it was quite murky. Yep, standard practice. Good job. Um, and there you've got your wind turbine that appear that blades are touching ocean, which would in Baller's cases point and say, oh look, it's hidden by earth curvature. Oh look Khan, it's hidden by earth curvature. Oh you just said that, didn't you? Sorry mate. <laughs> so, as promised, now we're going to have a look and see why this is not the case. So first of all, we've got to try and find out which um, turbine we're looking at. Um, so I was at this side up here looking at and we watched boat sailing from substation and it went past three wind turbines and then I stopped it just shortly after um, third wind turbine. Oh Khan, if you had panned the camera from the green line to the red line you would have counted around 20 turbines. So I'm sorry to say that where you're thinking you are you are not. Oh boy, you just stepped in it now, didn't you? No, he knows exactly where he was. When he just said left side of the pier, this is where he was standing the first uh, observation. Second observation, he was on the right side of the pier. Oh boy, Wally, you in Australia, he's actually where he says he was. You're in the wrong place. Now, Flatsoid really should have caught that mistake, but he didn't. 
Okay, where's Wally? Please excuse the uh, crickets in the background because it is night time here. There we can see Race Bank wind farm and we can see Lynx wind farm. You are claiming he's seeing Race Bank's wind farm with his angle. Let's zoom into his uh, position spot where he was doing the observation. <laughs> Let's turn a bit so we can see what's going on. Oh boy, what do we see here, Wally? What's going on? On the right, Lynx Farm, Wind Farm. And on the left, Race Bank, Wind Farm. You claiming he's looking out this way, when in matter of fact, he's looking out this way. Let's put on screen quickly what we're seeing with the still shot of the substation with the wind turbines. Can you see the wind turbines in the substation? Yeah, Where, which way are those wind turbines situated to the substation, where's Wally? Hmm, to the right, okay. So that means as he pans to the right, he gets to see the other wind turbines from Lynx Farm, not Race Bank. So, I suggest you roll the concede and say, yep, you got it wrong. You created maths to suit your narrative because it didn't uh, comport with the reality. Nature Globe is a fantasy.